It's the Sawcast, where real niggas speak that real shit on current events and topics you want to listen to. And I go by the name of Steve O. And I'm Ariel. What's up, y'all? <laughs> we gotta say the same thing every time. Don't right, me. man. You damn near do. What the trap do? What's you up? Know? We we working. Um, I see y'all was checking out that last mini cast we're gonna yeah. be doing those a lot more yeah we got another one coming up the uh next mini cast is a uh, um what is it about africans africans and how they relate to like black, black americans, people yeah. black americans and what you know they try to think like they try to act like we so different or you know we're gonna put all that on there you know what i'm saying we're gonna attack the, st- the stereotypes the stereotypes we- see if they really were or, or, or that's just a fit yeah because you know you know i can be you know kind of treating us motherfuckers who fuck with africans before and i want to talk to an african to see why they think that why do y'all think y'all superior i want to i want to hear one say that they superior and why they superior i need some facts because it look like y'all do the same shit that we do but yeah that's just a little interlude to our next minute guess so thank y'all for fucking with that right all right, our topic today is ASAP Rico. I'm just saying, ASAP <laughs> Rocky said he's the reason why niggas is wearing Air Force, Force Ones. One. Is that a true statement? No, ASAP Rocky. Why would you, ASAP Rocky? Why would you think that you are the one who and somebody would wear anything because of? I don't. Nobody. When I'm about to go buy me some Air Force Ones, I'm not thinking, oh my nigga, ASAP Rocky had them on like. Never, I don't buy anything and be thinking like I bought it because ASAP Rocky wanted me to buy it or something. Like what the fuck? Who, Air Force where did he One. Even, where did he get that from? Like why That's would ridiculous. he think that that is him? That's ridiculous. That's I would ridiculous. never have a. I I don't associate Air Force Ones with ASAP Rocky. ASAP Rocky. Like come on, bro. That's not a part of your like, image. Like ASAP Rocky could have said. You could have tried to say, I'm the reason why niggas wear a designer more. Hmm, okay. All right. Right, right. You came up in that or way. Motherfuckers, you know or motherfuckers slow their music down because of me. Not really because it's a chopping screws before you, but I can see that. No. Air Force. <laughs> not, not that either. All. I don't agree with that. <laughs> but yeah, Air Force Ones is definitely something that you did not come up with. So what the fuck are you even talking about? That's not it, bro. Okay. So uh, me and associating ASAP Rocky with <laughs> um me and associating ASAP Rocky with Air Force Ones. Yeah. There's no association. No association. There's no association. <laughs> Let me get that clear. It's not I, none. Why would you even think that, that it was? What what I don't I don't I even know. That nigga, but didn't you know what the shoes this nigga wear? I don't know what the I don't, I don't know, know what he wears. I don't know. I just know he wear this he talk about designer. That's the only reason why I know. I wouldn't know if he had some designer on either. Bro, I thought he was in like maybe some punk rock, kind of like hip hop rock. He seemed like a pop nigga to yeah. me. I didn't take him as no Air Force Ones guy. So yeah. For nah. you to make that statement, maybe That's your fans seen you in a, a picture or two with some Air Forces. Yeah. And they be like, look, he had some Air Forces, but uh, <laughs> no, 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 bro. You're not associated. I mean, so let's talk about the real pioneers so say, of the Air Force Ones. Let's go ones. back one mo, and then Probably like 2000s, early. Nelly is the reason why right. millennials. First of all. Stopping in my Air Force One, big boy. First of all, in my the Air reason Force why ones. niggas make songs about shit that they're wearing is because that's what everybody's wearing. Everybody was wearing Air Force Ones back then. That was before ASAP Rocky was in. Was that nigga 13 or something? He wasn't thought of when motherfuckers start wearing Air Force Ones. ASAP Rocky was a part of the Air Force One movement. Why the fuck did you want to wear Air Force Ones, ASAP? Right. Nigga, why did you want to wear Air Force Ones? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you think Nelly was cool too? Nigga, with them on, nigga? I'm just saying, every rapper had on Air Force Ones. If you look in their videos. Really? Honestly. And then I feel like the younger generation, all white Z Fazos. Z Fazos, for I've sure. Always. And really, honestly, Nelly is the one who started wearing first. But when I look at Air Force Ones, he popular. I damn him. near think about all white G Fazos every time I think about it. I don't think about. Right, I Asia. associate them. I don't <laughs> think about neither one of that. I think about, you know, the the G Fazos yeah. with G Herbo. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying, the Air Force Ones with Nelly. Yeah. But like we said, yeah. 
There's no correlation between with those. No. ASAP Rocky Air Force Ones. He can get the fuck out of here. He can go <laughs> take this publicity stunt somewhere else because it's going to die out. That? Maybe yeah, it's, it's gone because we always like, bro, no. Ha ha. Ha. Like, it's like, like them, huh? I don't even know how niggas be the really, they really be thinking that shit, though. Like, they really hey, be thinking. It's like one of them you send laugh out loud with a straight face. Uh-huh. Air Force Ones, ASAP Rocky, you are a reacher. Jack the Reacher. Jack the Reacher. Goddamn. Pull it back some. Cat Reel it in. Nick. Reel it in. King. They're Air, it they in. Air Force Ones. That's like saying... You was a person that could wear an all go grill. You know good and damn well you wasn't. So what made you say Air Force One, nigga? Why don't you talk? Why don't you try to say you pioneer something that we know you for? Right. <laughs> you could have tried for that. Air Force One, buddy. Nobody knew about that. Who told him? It be white people who be gassing these niggas up. I think because oh, niggas don't gas up ASAP Rocky. Do I they? don't know. Maybe who gasses up that's black ASAP Rocky. He got some fans in the black community. He gas up. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't, yeah, know. I don't know where he got that from. All right, we're going to move to the current events. Number one, states are looking to raise their stay at home. They're looking to raise the stay at home orders and get rid of them. A lot of them in May. Um, in Indiana, I believe May 1st at 1159 is when they're going to raise the stay at home orders for us. Um, so how do you feel about them getting rid of stay at home orders? Do you think it's too soon? And what effects do you think? I think we should do what we haven't been doing this whole time and listen to the health officials for once. (laughs) Okay. You ain't ready to get out the house? Let me finish my statement. Okay. Until we see that curve decline. And it's been declining for two weeks consecutively. We're not going to let folks out the house, man. Government, do your job and make sure the citizens of your country can survive and just bail us out. Because it was your fault in the first fucking place. So, you saying we shouldn't? No. Don't (laughs) open this motherfucker up. Not Not May 1st? When no. do you want this bitch open then? Not May 1st. We haven't contained it enough for May 1st. Uh, I let it, let let let's say there's rumors out there mm-hmm. that I may agree with about heat and you know, heat and killing germs and things yeah. like that. Yeah. So, um I believe if it's warmer out there and motherfuckers go out there at a warmer time together, they if they are going to open some shit, have uh, June. Yeah. I'll put some shit in June where we know it's warm and everybody just going to sweat all this shit out. If it's the um, flu, like it is, but it's a COVID-20 going around, I believe it's a COVID-20 because this flu seems like it's gotten a little bit stronger. Like, I don't know. Or maybe just reaching more people, but it yeah. seems like this is crazy. Um. Opening the states up May first. Um, I'm a little on the fence about this one. I think that um, every state is different, so I feel like there's not a lot of motherfuckers probably in Wyoming. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> if they open that up. I don't really feel like I don't know. I don't know though. But I feel like <sighs> but, I don't but, know. Like I don't know if they should open up the open up the states or not yet. That's but with just the Wyoming, with the Wyoming, I don't know for sure. Okay, so say Wyoming the, because the they point, can open up the states and y'all can still stay the fuck home. You know what I'm saying? Or y'all can still do this or y'all can still do that. True. Um, but with that but, being an option, how many people? Are really gonna That's like, home. oh, I don't want it to open the states because these old people might die. But them old people are probably like, I want the state open. So you're trying to do everything you can to save some motherfuckers that don't give a fuck about it. At <laughs> you I mean, saving niggas that don't give a fuck. But you should still try to save people. Not saying that. But I'm just saying, like, 
I just feel like every but every state is different. We also can go to the flip side of that. And we can say that. I don't feel like we had enough testing. I don't feel like we've done enough analysis on it for us to know what the fuck is going to happen when we open it up. So that I'll say that. Like, we don't know what's going to happen when they open the bitch up. So how are we going to say if you should open it up or not? If if we should be like, all right, by the analysis, we know that if we open it up, this may happen. We not, we ain't at a point where we don't know what the fuck about to happen when we open it back up. So I feel like we should have some type of analysis to, to sway us on each ray. The only thing we're saying is, we need to get motherf- That's the only thing other motherfuckers saying is who want to open it back up. Motherfuckers ain't got no money. And motherfuckers can't work. So we need to open some shit back motherfuckers up. Motherfuckers ain't got no money. That's Republican shit. I don't think shit. that that's a good reason to open up. It needs to be like, I think if we open it up, a lot of more people are not going to die. Or, you know what I'm saying, the curve is going to go down still, even if we do open it. Something like that. But motherfuckers is just thinking about money, which I think is not right. So. Yeah. Cause like the what is that? Was it the mayor? Yeah, from Vegas. Oh yeah, she was like, <laughs> she was like, shit. I offered us to be the uh, <laughs> the uh, Test, the testing group. The testing group. She said yeah. she she said fuck it, open it back up. Cause she said, look, a lot of people's lives revolve around those hotels. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and so, so she wanted that motherfucker open back She up. wanted that open. And they was like, well, is you going to be in the hotel? She was like, I don't know nothing about hotels to be in the hotel. Right. Was like, all right, so <laughs> I'm not fuck you talking there, about this. <laughs> Have you done anything to ensure that people don't die? Well, that's not my job. Yeah, right. it is, well, bitch, if you're the uh, mayor. You're supposed no. to make sure everybody in your fucking city is straight. She that's kept, your she job. Was like, she was like, well, well, that's not what I'm saying. She kept right. saying, well, that's not. See, you're trying to twist my words. And Anderson is a journalist, so he knows how to twist the motherfucker words, but he didn't have to. That was just, I feel like if you watch that Anderson clip with the mayor of Las Vegas, then you will see that and that's child's play for for uh, Anderson. Anderson yeah, really. lives for this shit. Really, he was just. That was easy as fuck for Anderson. All he was doing to, was to just feed, feeding, feeding off of what she was doing. Basically. He would throw, a, he would throw an additional portion to her question that she ju- that he just asked her yeah so he'd be like so you think that we shouldn't we sh- we should open it back up and right. then she's like yes we should <laughs> open back up but you know that's going to kill a lot of people you know that she's right like how do you know if you don't open it up <laughs> right. what do you mean bitch because when it was open motherfuckers was dying fuck you talking about and you have not done anything to ensure that nobody would die if they open it up she doesn't even have a like. Why? Okay, she you doesn't see, even all have a people, safety precaution. Like, yeah, like all she these started making up money. All these people don't have houses and stuff like that. She started making up a safety protocol off <laughs> off the top of her top head. Oh no. uh, well, yeah, you know we're going to have people wear um, protective gear, and then we're going to have people social distance themselves, and you know, then the the hotel's still going to run like it's operational. And I'm like, mm. only people who needs who need to be told to social distance is motherfucking people who are from the mountains of Caucasus, okay? Because <laughs> 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 niggas that are from the mountains of Caucasus, Zimbabwe, are is six feet away from each other already. Niggas is already six feet away from each other. Facts. The I'm not that already. close to motherfuckers already, anyways. Boy, I'm but like, in so Vegas, agree. you really don't have a choice. You're going to be on top of people. Yeah, and Vegas, New you York, right there as well. Los Angeles and you know say stuff like that. All so other big cities. Um, our our numbers here have went up way more than they thought they were. So yeah, it's way like, more than I thought as well. It's like they already like that. And we already we on lockdown. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why a lot of people are like, I don't really know because they bad and we on lockdown. If we open it back up, they're gonna get worse. It's not gonna. The but curve what is going is down. The, the curve can also cure, go then. back up. What is the real cure then? So we what do we do? We so what do you vaccine. propose? So what do you propose we do? That's what I, you're the what you're the one saying that we should open up in June. My proposal yes. is to do get some more analysis on ways to lower the fucking numbers before you just release motherfuckers into the wild. That's what mine is, but. 
I mean, I feel like we should have got more information first. We need some more testing. We need to know how many people got this shit. Where's the where's the highest uh the highest area that has it so that motherfuckers don't go there or you can quarantine the niggas who have it, stuff like that. Instead of just letting everybody into the wild but and then so, somebody you go to because motherfuckers is gonna travel so, but as soon so, as they fucking open this but shit. But it's up. so motherfuckers is traveling, okay? Yeah, but <laughs> they doing it right now. It's never traveling are. has not been traveling cut hasn't off stopped. I still see people. I still see people taking flights. Motherfuckers was like touchdown and blah blah blah. Yeah, like, motherfuckers oh, okay. are still taking flights. Facts. They don't give a I'm fuck not. about this corona. They are living a different lifestyle right now. <laughs> Maybe I should take a flight, god damn it. Maybe <laughs> I should be with them. Oh, now. God, they open down. Let me go to that motherfucker. But, shit, the beaches in Florida are open. What you that's like the park that? for them. That's like the park for them. Yeah, that's the park. Shit. Nigga, could you imagine? Like, we stress the fuck out right now. What we can we do? We got a nice-ass community. We can walk around our community. Could you imagine us having a beach? Niggas just Crazy. gonna go there and sit down. Crazy. I'm gonna go there and sit down and look at the water like them. Every day. Shit bigger than me. Every day. Shit bigger than me. I'm going out there looking like, <laughs> whoo, bitch, I ain't in the crib like the rest of the uh, the other motherfucking country. <laughs> like, nigga, like, nigga, everybody else is in the house. And bitch, I'm on the beach, huh? Like, what? what? So it's like, I think that, I don't know, it's gonna have to be. The way restaurants have their seating is going to be have to be different. Everything Stuff like that's gonna is to going change, to have sure. to change if we actually do this. Yep, it's going to that's be like real like no. organized. It's going to have to be really organized. Like you know, what I'm like saying? I said, places have been open still. So yeah, it's some places that's, that's already doing it. it. It's 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 place. You know what I'm saying? Because. Half of these masks that motherfuckers be wearing really don't help. So what I want people to understand about COVID nineteen is y'all y'all they like oh a lot more people die from this a lot more people die from that shut the fuck up the reason why <laughs> nigga this is these numbers that we see are like I keep telling people it's just like the same numbers we see for a year for one thing yeah in three months what are y'all not understanding. I honestly thought the same thing. Like it doesn't get like, but that was early. Oh yeah, we like both went. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little skeptic. Skeptic, okay. That was January <laughs> though. That was January, February. Yeah. After after about mid February, March, I was like, all right, this ain't got out of hand. That's when motherfuckers start buying up the whole store. Oh my god, the numbers I'm glad start the shooting are up. Back to normal. That's something great about it. And they ain't all the way back. You know, anybody. In the meat department, probably working real hard. They getting they they arms together because niggas is putting shit out. And niggas is taking shit while yeah. they putting it out most of the time. But you can find some shit in damn near almost every store. All right, so I think I think that we need more um, information, or we need um, some some regulations. Stephen thinks that we should not even open this shit up until like June, July. We shouldn't even think about it until <laughs> June or July. Yeah. But now that she said that, we can do some analytics and testing. And you I know. didn't feel. I ain't gonna lie. This is, uh, this is out the way. Out the Everybody way. Everybody should probably get it, like some type of something of it, so that they can be immune to it, or not immune to it. Everybody can be ready for the disasters. Going this down. guy, but I agree. <laughs> That's the only way. I do because like they don't I give a fuck. The government symptom. obviously don't give a fuck. They about to be they about to release niggas into the wild. So nigga, go get let shit. me go ahead and get my shit over with. <laughs> Cause y'all don't give a fuck. If you had any type of code, goddamn any type of code in this last month and a half, they two, don't three give a months. damn. They gonna open it. All right, a Louisiana pastor challenges everyone to give their stimulus checks to. His church or to a church so he's just like eh, you should just give your stimulus checks to a church do you pay tithes at all Stephen? no <laughs> I do not pay tithes in the traditional way and the religious no in the traditional traditional way That's yeah the only thing. traditional it's traditional Traditional way. Yeah. I say the traditional, quote unquote, traditional way. No, I don't. But I do feel like I 
give, you know, I give my 10, well, 10%, you know, that's a iffy thing yeah. when we're talking about 10% because I was looking it up and it's. Yeah, we was, we was researching trying to it figure out It doesn't necessarily hell 10% say 10%. I don't really know where that came it from. It mentions like, you know. Mm-hmm. Someone getting ten percent of something, yeah. or some someone like, giving like a profit or something, giving ten mm-hmm. percent of what he has, you know, as offerings or something like that. But it's I don't really see anything that says tithes. It say yeah, give tithes. Yeah, it does. But I also say like it. It's like give tithes back to your community too. It's saying your community and those in need. So I understand where the church is going with that. Yeah. But I just feel like it's been some corruption in that area, in the church area in the last few years. Yeah. And then that strayed me away from uh the participation. Yeah. So Well, I don't I do not tie in the traditional way as well. And it's because if you look in the Bible, which is me and Stephen grew up in a Christian school, um, it was very it was very black, <laughs> but it was also very shit as well. Right. And um, we went to church a lot with my mom. So she, we used to go to church a lot for a while, but then we stopped. Um, but um, we know a lot about the scripture and stuff like that. So I always knew that nobody in the damn Bible said give money to the church. I've never seen that. I always seen give money back. You know what I'm saying? When they say pay, basically the Bible says give to like people who the needy, this, this, and that. And if you think about it, when you tie, you're giving to a church and you're hoping that they give to the needy. But um, I feel like giving tithes, you can do giving tithes is like it's like it's in the Bible. Giving, oh, paying it forward. Once you get something, helping somebody else, do something for somebody else. Just not don't think about oh I'm gonna get blessed because of this. You just got to do it off the strength because the Bible also say when you give, um, base, you give to motherfucking for motherfuckers to see you give, then those, those are the motherfuckers got to be like, uh-uh, he don't fuck with. You ain't supposed to give this to motherfuckers be like, oh, you gave that. You supposed to just right. give because you, you give out your heart. Because you got, you're to give cause you cause got you, it. You, you want to genuinely see somebody right. yeah. be happy. You want to help somebody. So, yeah, that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like every time you get some money, there's always a chance for you to do something for somebody else. Um, I feel like I always, or God, or the universe, or whoever you, you know, you think is running this shit, always gives you an opportunity to give to somebody else. And so, when, if you pass that up, he, it's probably going to be another opportunity. You pass that up, you miss your blessing. So Definitely. So that's how I feel about it. I don't feel like Todd's is supposed to be supposed to give ten percent to the church. Like, nah, you are supposed to give back to the community, somebody in need, somebody that needs help, somebody you know is struggling. And sometimes I feel because like honestly, it's not necessarily. The, but the wait a minute, I feel like it ain't even money. Sometimes I feel like you need your time back. Yeah, it's that's the same thing because is, time is money at the end of the day. It's priceless. You paying it for with your time? Go ahead. What you say? Nah, but I, I what I was saying. Is um to go off of that, I I do think there's other ways that you can you know what I'm saying you get back you mm-hmm. you do favors for somebody you know what I'm saying sometimes you just pay it pay it forward as like like even on some just you see a person in need just randomly and help them out you feel me right so it's like many different ways that you can do it and I feel like. It it makes you feel better, you know what I'm saying? And it lifts your spirits up I and it makes that. your energy go up because you know you genuinely did that, you know. And when I give a lot of, well, I ain't going to say a lot of, all the time, really. I don't really give to receive, you know what I'm saying? Me either. I give because I feel like, um, you know, it's a service to to another to another human being, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we here to service each other, you know. If you... If you if, if you in need and I believe in your cause and you know what I'm saying I help you out you lend lend a hand when I need it that's just us um, continually um, passing good vibes and service to one another like that's what we should do like we was ma- we was, I mean we was made to serve right we we serve our God right mm-hmm. so we are our serpents you know what I'm saying hold the fuck up this oh Nick what what what. 
What is it? All right, y'all. So the next fucking uh, current event is about Kirk Rashida, y'all. So what's going on? They got on Instagram to shut down rumors that Kirk adopted. Rashida, which nobody gives a fuck about that part. I don't even know why y'all even addressed that. We right. know why? that he didn't fucking adopt you. What is that? The do with question was, um, they didn't date that, but they said he said she he also did not date her when they was in high school, and he doesn't like young women. And do you believe him now, Kurt? If you really didn't like young bitches, do you want to have a baby mom that's a young bitch? For and sure. Your baby mom's a young bitch. For sure. So. When you think of young women, you should not automatically think of teenagers when you're a grown-ass man. Like, a grown-ass man, when he says young women, they're thinking, he's probably thinking 19, 20, 21. He's not thinking 17, 16. You know what I'm saying? You thinking nah, on some yeah. other shit. He was, like, young. Yeah. And they get that fresh and un- unexperienced with he life. He say young ladies. Boy. He said young women. No, young. when you say young women, that is a t- younger 20-something year old person. So, so your either never had winter. So he, so either he lying or them numbers uh, in the difference of their ages in line. Y'all so, tell me, y'all tell me what the truth is. They said Rashida was. It's saying now on Wikipedia she was born in 1976 and he was born in 1969. That is not what we. That was on there a week ago, was it? A week ago, it did not say that. <laughs> there was a bigger age gap than Hold that. Hold up, because there was that's definitely why I a just bigger said, age gap than what? that. What? Uh uh-uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause it was not no seven year age gap on here. They are lying. Hell no, nah, that age gap was about like she. Somebody changed that shit. They changed that on Wikipedia. They bought that. They bought that change. They they spent the they little are change not, on the like change. Like nobody thought they was. They spent a little change on that change. What? Yep, we should have screenshotted that shit. Damn, you know, they was gonna do that to us. Maybe. Maybe Rashida was lying about her age back then. Maybe everybody thought she was younger and she wasn't. Because, you know, I don't know. I don't understand how that makes <sighs> Seven sense. years? That wasn't what was on here. Because nah, nobody about, would have even gave like, a damn. What, 14 years or something yeah, like that at first? It was not seven. It wasn't seven. That's too close. Even if he was, was like, seven, hold on, he'd be hold 20, on. what, four? How, how old is he right now? They said 51, and she's 43. I thought she was like 38. Last week, she, she was, was 36 38. or 37 38. or 38. She One was 38. Of she was 38 last week. She was week. a little older. She was 38. So she was five plus five? Yeah. Come on now, Rashid. That's like 13. 12. 12. 12 years. We can't even do the math. That's 12 him. years. <laughs> 51 minus what? Wait, <laughs> anyone about is thirty seven? Yes. What is that? Cause it's fourteen, nigga. So it's fourteen. Fourteen years sounds more like it, like you said. Not no yeah, fucking sure. seven. Who chopped it down to seven? I want to know who. They chopped it. They got that shit. They chopped they got a little publicist, and they just like a lot of little stuff is coming up on Google search that didn't last time Facts. we googled oh, it. God. And y'all think y'all can oh, play God. us, but we it. We know how information technology work, and y'all did some shit. Y'all paid for some shit to get to the top. So motherfuckers can say y'all seven years apart, but that's not what we saw. Uh uh-uh, uh, that ain't what we saw last week. It's cool though. It's cool though. Y'all tricking everybody right. else. But we know the facts and everybody listening to this know the goddamn facts. I don't know if these are the facts or if those are the facts. We don't know. It's so jobbled <laughs> around. Know. It don't even matter no more. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck that, man. We ain't even gonna get no more time for this one because this just pissed me off how y'all just changed the dates on this motherfucker. changing shit because y'all know shit. good and well nobody would have said shit if y'all was seven years apart fuck out of here y'all good ones that y'all good ones y'all. but y'all did y'all think because y'all y'all got that shit about it there quick because <laughs> the shade room wouldn't even have posted it if it you know what i'm saying if it didn't sound kind of right all right national security officials are investigating the true source of COVID 19 they think it may have been allegedly developed in a Chinese lab. This was on CNN, actually, guys. Did you check to see if this was on CNN? Did I check to see if it was on CNN? Yes. 
That's what about to do. I thought that I thought this was your source right here. I mean, hold on. I mean, it was your source, not mine. It was. Yep, it's on CNN. <sighs> But I said that. that was put out on my birthday. I said that. So, yeah, they think that it was probably developing a Chinese lab. I said that. Do you think this is true? I don't I know what that. to believe. You know, I feel like I, you ain't supposed to be selling motherfucking animals on the market. Like, I shouldn't be able to go buy some sh- some animals from a market. Like, a fucking, I shouldn't be able to go buy a squirrel. I don't feel like you should be able to buy that. What are you talking about over there? I'm talking about anywhere. Anywhere. You should not be able to. You should not be able to buy a shark. You should not be able to buy a squirrel. A chipmunk. None of that. A tiger either. A tiger. They doing that in the niggas U.S. Breeding tigers. <laughs> Shout out to my niggas, Jello Exotic. He's hell. He's <laughs> but anyway, He's hell. so like I said. It, I don't know. You shouldn't be. I feel like them having them fucking animals over there could be a reason why somebody would get it. But uh, a lab, maybe because that COVID nineteen sound like some shit on one of these shows that motherfuckers be making in the lab. It and then it's a laboratory. <laughs> we um, it was a it was a it was a mass breakout of the COVID nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, have we heard that before? <laughs> 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 God damn it. I don't know. That sounds pretty familiar to me. COVID-19? Shit, this motherfucking COVID-20 now. So do you think that they did it in the lab or not? Do I think that China produced this some type of way, some type of how? Yes, Yes, man. They can't do nothing else with us, so they got to hit us where it hurt. Money. And we are a a superpower when it comes to that. So you take us down. You take down a whole lot of motherfucking shit, nigga. I think I just had this conversation with my friends be- right before this happened. Yes, you hit that. You I did. talked about this. You did, because we I even talked, talked about, about it, too. I was like, yes. I Actually, I fucking typed that shit out. I can read that shit verbatim when I said it. That's fucking crazy. Definitely. They they hit you financially. That's going to hurt you. They know we are and, both powerful and because they of that, too. Y'all. And they killing y'all. They killing they this is the thing. They're not killing army. People aren't that's on the army. The people that's in the navy, they killing grandma, grandpa, babies, don't fucking matter. It's killing everybody that's vulnerable as fuck. They said we getting y'all out of here. We getting y'all out of here. We getting y'all loved ones the fuck up out of here. But this this is what y'all don't get. If y'all try to get somebody loved ones the fuck up, the motherfuckers gonna turn into savages. Okay. Yeah. You think yeah. it ain't gonna be a fucking country full of savages if we lose our moms, our grandparents, and our babies and shit? We're gonna fucking try to fucking kill your ass. <laughs> exactly. So if you try, if somebody try to like, if we find out this shit from a lab. And my motherfucking grandpa died or something. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you gonna be see, you, you gonna, gonna see, be you gonna, you gonna, see, gonna see Trump enlist. up there. Trump gonna be a little different. <laughs> well, uh, going to enlist. That, that nigga go that nigga gonna go in there. Well, uh, we had a surge in um in uh, deployments over there in China. And uh, <laughs> swear to God, God. that motherfucker, the commander in chief, nigga, he about to be sending shit your way, nigga. Nigga, I'm saying like. I don't know if this was developed in the lab or not, but I don't know. know I know that it came from China for sure. It came from China, you know that. and China sent it to the U.S. real fast. Yeah, one But then they are they is uh what? who was that Europe, Italy, Italy? Yeah. Are they our allies? No. Bro. I don't even know. I ain't gonna even start. Is, is they gotta Italy be our though. Allies? They ain't even United Nations, ain't they? The UN. Them near, they might be our allies. So they hit us. They hit our people too. They, uh, nigga, they hitting our people for sure. Yeah, people we fuck with for sure. They definitely hitting our people. For yeah, sure. for sure. Cause that's a tourist attraction for a lot of uh, Americans too. Shit, they hitting that shit. They hitting all aspects, nigga. Nigga, y'all can't even fly. Y'all can't even travel. Nigga, they nigga there. Trump couldn't wait. He said all immigration shut down. If you trying to get up in Oh, here, my God. Oh, my God. That <laughs> nigga said. crazy. He said all immigration <laughs> stops. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> because of the you spread of COVID-19. The, you can't come into you this. Motherfucker nigga, you motherfucker can't come in America. You can't get a green card in America. No green card. The workers is already working, y'all, right? But can't nobody else come down, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> 
Don't cross Trump the border. Trump shut the fuck. It shut it down as usual, but I mean, yeah. You already said in the beginning that that shit was made in the lab. So man, I'm I thought it was made in the lab. It came from is. over there, man. They sent it. You know, I just hope we recover. You know, let's keep our faith. Let's keep our energy. Look, man. Vitamins. Get your vitamins. Get your get your vegetables. Get your They're fruits. Get your waters. Vitamins, you know what I'm saying? Sweet. Make sure you're healthy at times like this. Get on water. Cause I'm I'm preaching to myself. Cause I'm about to be on the same thing I'm saying. Cause I ain't on the jet. Lord but. Jesus. <laughs> All right, y'all. Next Caribbean Get together. Event. An inmate in Florida who was convicted of heroin charges was let out of prison because of COVID nineteen. Less than twenty four hours later, he killed somebody. Are you surprised? No, he's a heroin addict. Okay, why y'all letting addicts? I get why y'all let addicts out, but y'all need to let people out that. <sighs> So what's your, so what's your stipulation then? So so addicts can't come out. Addicts got to stay in the house. Uh, I mean, if stay you go let house. an addict out, you got to give them resources to stay on track during this shit. Cause you imagine being an addict in the house all day long, you're going to do some shit. You're not. Addicts are probably True. doing but, drugs. But, but check on this out. Like what if what right if now. what if it was just like you know what I'm saying? What if he just in self defense or something like that? Well, if he really, they just uh, um, exploited his uh, case, you know what I'm saying, made his case famous or something, but he really just was in self-defense. Would it still be bad if he killed a nigga in self-defense? Would that matter? If you kill a nigga in self-defense, 24 hours after the fuck you got out, why the fuck are you in a defensive situation that fast? Because <laughs> he owed a nigga. He ain't paying for the hair on. No. He ain't paying for Okay, it. well, that's di- you shouldn't be on heroin 24 hours after you get out. You are a sting. <laughs> no, it's, the, it's for the heroin that he took before he nah, went in. Nah, fuck that. That ain't got nothing to do with nothing. That nigga been in there for probably over five years or something. He he ain't got no enemies no more. Just wipe the shit clean. Once they go to jail, I don't know, because they might. Yo, nah, Never mind. I'm sorry. Mean. I didn't even say that. But anyway. Right. <laughs> but anyways, though, but yeah, like, I don't know. This motherfucker... He's he's an addict, so and he's doing hard shit. So he probably went right in the hood and got some shit. Oh, but like I man. said, you guys, if you're gonna do heroin addicts and stuff like that, that's this is the thing, and this exposes the uh, police, the justice system. You guys don't rehabilitate people, so when they get out, they're not ready to deal with society. Right, How can you 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 didn't even think about? Hmm, I'm about to let a person who's been in jail for years get out right now right like what you think they're going to want to stay in the house all day uh, like they just came from jail they may enjoy the house for like one, one or two days or a week tops right. they're going to want to get the <laughs> fuck up out of there they bust some moves out then you week. then you like an addict you got all types of demons like addicts got demons in their head to where they like thinking about crazy shit so they're do- you have to stay in the room by yourself even if you're at home it's quiet and you just got demons in your head what ain't no telling what you gonna do? That's what I'm saying about everybody. Shit, that's why you gotta stay strapped up. For sure, motherfuckers is listening to their thoughts right now. Motherfuckers is definitely listening to their <laughs> thoughts right now. You gotta do what you gotta do. How you do what you do, man. Man, Make it's sure so many careful. motherfucking people who go <laughs> go to jail or get out of jail and go right back in. Let's do a survey. Let's do a percentage of everybody who gets the fuck out and goes the fuck back in. Regularly, fuck a fucking COVID nineteen. So we gonna talk about this one motherfucker who. What's the what's the statistics of motherfuckers that go back in once they get out? I'm sure it's high. I'm pretty sure niggas do go back. (laughs) This is normal shit. I mean, I know niggas who then. With a heroin addict, he's probably a higher probability if he's a heroin addict. I would right, just he say, gonna go right back, nigga. He gonna give a fuck, nigga. <laughs> right back yeah. in that bitch. He gonna bust another nigga head, get back in that motherfucker. He give a fuck, nigga. Fuck you talking about? That's he gonna come dumb. out turned up, bitch. Bop, shut up, nigga. Fuck, yeah. he ain't there playing. Whatever. We already knew he was gonna do that. So fucking ass. Yeah, man. Next, yeah. Walker says Atlanta has been running the music scene for years. Do you agree? <sighs> yes. <sighs> They are top tier. Um, every probably every artist, almost every artist, probably seventy percent of the artists that I like is from Atlanta. 
So, yeah. I I I agree with this. I feel like all well, the beats, the best beats come from Atlanta. I don't know, because Memphis be stupid. Memphis might yeah. be top tier. Memphis, Memphis is top Memphis tier, got never mind. Soulful trap beats. They got those soulful trap beats, though. You feel that shit in your soul, nigga. That motherfucking shit. They got them tats. Right, right, right. You mean that motherfucking rockers, that bitch? Oh, damn. They got the fuck. But Bad Rules got that shit, make you trying to cut a nigga head off. Yeah, but. Everybody from Baton Rouge, yeah. nigga. Everybody from Louisiana, period, nigga. Yeah. Them niggas, you want to cut a nigga head off. I of like Cali, way. too. I like Cali, too. I fuck with Cali. Cali. And I like, I mean, I don't niggas I don't really Cali. like nobody from New York like that except for Nicki Minaj. Maybe. No, I love Bobby. Nah, New Bobby York Bobby Schmerder got some, got some niggas, yeah. yeah like, they got a couple, yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna stunt. Because they been clowning, niggas. though. I, I mean, Fab. I mean, duh, but. We going ghost status. <laughs> we right. talking about fab. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about the music scene just in general, not ghost status music scene. I think there's levels. Uh okay. But um regular music scene, definitely Atlanta and I listen to a lot of people from Memphis. Detroit's clowning. Chicago's clowning. Detroit's hot Always. right now. Detroit's hot right now. Detroit Chicago and yeah. Chicago fire. Chicago, yeah, Chicago, yeah. They they give you them bangers. They gonna give you something coming from that city. The Carolinas trying, but I don't know. I mean, nah, but ain't J Cole from the Carolinas? Is he? Ain't, is yeah. He? Oh damn, I forgot. He is from the Carolinas. Well, never mind. All right. <laughs> it ain't. It ain't a never whole, mind. They in that thing. It ain't too. a whole lot of them though. I mean, the baby. What's the What's the brother name? Black Zach or whatever his name. Yeah, Black, I like Black him Zach. too. Yeah, I fuck with his shit. Yeah, his shit dumb too. I don't know, but. So top top would probably be Atlanta right now, and then everybody else. Uh, right now I don't say that. Why? I say like Toronto isn't that thing too. No. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I say like I don't know, like L A. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like the West LA Coast what? kind of fucking Who with them too. from L A. They got motherfuckers who rap from Not the Not now. Mm. Shit, Kamaya. That's my nigga, though. Oh. YG from out there, ain't he? Who? YG. Yeah. Yeah, but he not. Wiz from out there, ain't he? No. He's from, um, he's from Virginia. He's somewhere in the DMV. Wiz? Yeah. He's some, I think he's from oh, Virginia. Oh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. He's from Pittsburgh. Philadelphia. Wait a minute. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Damn. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm fucking bro, my nigga with, with though. It. I'm fucking my nigga with, with though. Well, all right. You're right, man. You're right, man. Atlanta <laughs> has been controlling things I mean, for a minute. let's see. But future, I will say. Future and uh, Gucci Mane. You know, that's, that, you know, to me, that's the best rapper alive. Gucci so Man. Gucci Mane is like best rapper. People be saying Jeezy better though. Who said it? And why would they say that? Let's not get there because we can go there. There's nothing about Jeezy that's better than Gucci Mane. Gucci Mane is consistently putting out hit like hits, hits, hits consistently for his whole entire time he's been in the fucking limelight. Jeezy cannot say that. But. I I think Jeezy might have a couple more accolades than Gucci Mane. Like what? Because Gucci Mane, like what ac- accolades? Like BT Awards? <laughs> 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 fuck that shit. I don't mean a damn thing <laughs> over here. You know, fuck with no goddamn BT Awards or nothing like that. I need to, I'm going to take this out. <laughs> we, we might get a BT or one day I am fucked up. Right. <laughs> but anyway, I fuck with BZ. I need a good plan, but Yeah, I fuck with BZ. But um Gucci Mane don't need no award though. Like he's not he not industry enough to have an award. People scared of him. Uh so. you got a point there. Yeah. Uh, I mean yeah. I don't want to say nobody really. I know, like, in the industry, I've heard that he's scared of Jeezy. 
<laughs> he's pretty cool dude. He's about to be married to an Asian lady. Oh, why are you trying to say it like that? I mean, look at Gucci, bitch, and look at his. Okay, a little more gutter in the water. Right. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. But, yeah, so I feel like uh, Atlanta then, everybody else. Yeah, Me personally, mean? Atlanta then Memphis. Me personally. <sighs> you knew what, Steven? Atlanta and uh, Louisiana going hard, too. Okay. Lyric Galore is asking that QC label CEO Pierre give her four thousand a month in child support for their daughter. Do you believe this is too much for a baby? Do you believe four thousand a month in child support is too That's much? That's way a baby? too much. They got too many baby mamas. How many did, you, did Damn, we say he had? Like, like four? three, four all together. <laughs> what does that mean? Honestly, really, truthfully. If she wants four thousand dollars after you just spend a whole large lump sum of money, give her four thousand dollars. This is the thing: when you do strip a thons and shit like that, and you money. spend two hundred and fifty thousand in one night, then that's not going to help you in court with no type of money problems that you have. So sometimes you got to think about the moves that you make out here. And he QC is a businessman, so he could say it was for promotion. For definitely, his company, definitely. so that could have really came out of the budget. So, because it it had a song associated, they had a video shoot at the same place. So honestly, that probably was a write off that party. Most bitches definitely. didn't even get paid. They were saying at that party that was a write off. Bitches was volunteering Most for some community service. Damn near. So he damn near can say like that. That was that stripathon was for that. So hmm. Um, I think that four thousand dollars is pretty decent for his ass. He really could pay more. The fact that she's asking only for four thousand, knowing that she probably lives somewhere in LA, her rent might be probably twenty five hundred out the gate. You know what I'm saying? Her um her daughter being QC's daughter, she needs way more security, you know what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers be hating. Um, she's a baby, she needs a tutor so she can start learning faster because when you have money the reason why people who have money their kids are higher in society is because they spend more on education definitely so she needs of that as well all that is going to be way more than four thousand that's why i was confused at why she was even asking for that would have been like twenty thousand or something like that but four thousand is very very generous of her so if so he act like he don't want to give her four thousand, then he's dumb. Like but he needs look, to go ahead and give her that four thousand. They didn't say that That's he didn't nothing. want to. They just said that she want she wanted, and we just talk about our opinion on her <laughs> wanting it. So let's not say that he ain't gonna give it because he probably will. Well, when she asked that, soon after she asked, probably two minutes after they should have signed the papers for her to get it, because that's nothing. I don't know if he gonna go that quick. He gonna think about it. Regular people giving uh two thousand a month for kids. Regular people, some people giving art. Some people giving a thousand a month for a kid. And motherfuckers is talking about four thousand for a CEO of a major corporation. Get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Give her that fucking four thousand and quit playing. Hey, but hey, he better be grateful because uh Blake Griffin ex fiance hit him with the uh, two hundred and eighty five. Thousand a month, <laughs> right? And we all was having a discussion about that and how I felt like, you know, that was something. Now thinking about it, compared to this four thousand, what? Stop. Right. But now, then again, that's for all his kids, Blake's true, kids, true. and it's one woman. It was his true. fiance. Right. That's what I'm saying. It it's a lot it up. more shit that's involved. Right. You a baby mom number five. Right, you wanted a baby mama, so in that case, you ain't the first either. You probably ain't gonna be the last, so you kind of like middle baby mama. Ooh, Ooh no, no, she gonna be. No, I don't know. He might know. She number four out of six. No, cause they got it was two girls pregnant by QC at one time. It was Lyra, and then it was another girl. I'll show you who it is, but I don't remember her name. Kayler, Kayler. Uh, I don't know. Nope. I didn't remember. But anyway, she got, I don't know which one of their babies is the youngest. Oh. Right. Not, right. He she he had a baby at the same time as, as she had her. Like, 
Ah, it don't matter. Right. <laughs> <laughs> The fuck? Well, I guess it matter which. But she probably she is. the only reason why she's not getting taken care of is because she because QC was just like you need to relax. Because she, she was doing too much. The other bitches ain't said nothing. They ain't talked about no baby. She they just they get right, what they kept, need. Right, kept, kept it moving. So that's I guess that's kept a lesson. Moving. Like just be cool with your baby mama and your baby daddy. The fuck. Uh-huh. Chip and Dale's is hosting live videos of male strippers on their website. Would you tune into a strip club online? If no. it's Boosie Boo Strip Club, I'm tuning in. <laughs> I'm going to tune in and I'm going to throw them virtual dollars. You throwing virtual dollars? You throwing virtual you tipping? dollars. Ting. I'm just playing. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want, let, me, let, me write that, let me write that down. I'm just playing. Nah, because it takes away from the experience, bro. I can't throw the money, you know, and be interactive. Yeah, but you that's a boy right. though, so you still like little ass chicken. But you can see that anyway. Yeah, though. I see the ass chicken. That's on the time. <laughs> it's the, nowadays. I swear <laughs> to God, it is especially in like quarantine. Quarantine, quarantine. <laughs> Jesus, you click on that motherfucker. You can't even be at work sometimes. Motherfuckers be. I don't know. Skip. I'm not. I don't. I don't want to see no videos of motherfuckers stripping. That is not something I feel like watching. No. I can't even watch Magic Mike. I just it's just not for me. Don't want to watch niggas stripping on TV. Don't want to watch bitches stripping on TV. I don't give a fuck. Okay, I don't want to see that. She says she don't want for weed. Um, let's just. I mean, let's just continue with the lives. Yes, sir. Let's, let's not go. go too far with it. But Boosie stopped his lives, and he took it to yeah. the site. But he need to bring the motherfuckers bike. Like, why are you? Why would you? That site probably crashing. <sighs> That's it's like probably crashing. not Cause motherfuckers I don't know That site gonna crash I hope it does Boosie I hope that site crashes So that you can get paid But anyway I, I'm bringing in a, a new little Korean event So Spotify added tipping Like you can tip the artist They're, they're about to enable that On yeah. Spotify Tip the artist? Yes pe- Regular people can tip the artist Wow So how do you feel about that? Y'all got y'all don't get enough money. You know what? If you're gonna tip that artist and you feel like contributing to them, I don't know. Tip them, but I'm not great. tipping the artist. I'm not tipping J Cole because he did a great job on this fucking CD. You you can. I tip him by going to his fucking concert, which is sixty dollars. Damn, that ain't tipping them enough. <laughs> they said they want all of our coins. Can I get every cent you got <laughs> in your pocket? <laughs> Pay to see me and then pay to listen to me. Yeah, I'm But I'm going to tell you it's a tip. Wait a minute. First of all, you already get paid to listen to them. Like, the, they, like when you listen to them on Spotify, they get paid for that already. So, Thanks. we're paying you double? Why not? Fuck it. Let the artists get their pay for Fuck it. Because that it's like if they do you know, that, honestly, when, when they do help, that, that's gonna get rid help. of record labels, and all that shit. Yes, that's gonna help the independents. Oh, for sure, 100%. that's gonna help the independents out for sure. Independents and small record labels that's definitely gonna benefit them. People too. do be yeah. wanting to just give artists money. So why not? I ain't gonna stop nobody from getting their bag, definitely. get your bag. But me personally, I'm not tipping no fucking artist, bro. If they if they somebody I know. Maybe, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But I'm not... Like, if it's... Okay, J. Cole, no. Somebody I know, yes. You know what I'm saying? It's different levels to this shit. Like, But if I don't know, I'm probably not. If I fuck with an artist, I go to their... I go to their um, they shows, listen to their music on YouTube, everywhere. I know that y'all making royalties off this shit, so I don't see why I need to tip y'all on top of that. Unnecessary. But I mean, I know the royalties on... Streaming ain't that high, but still, still it's some. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, last one. Doctor Phil has Dr. to get Phil roasted online because he believes ass. the country should not be shut down because of one virus. One virus should not shut this, the uh the whole country down. I believe he said, um, just because somebody got a car accident, don't mean you got to stop driving. So that's what he kind of went through. This sounds so do you think like he wrong? some country ass Republican shit. Oh well, want to get money back? Well, I just say that 
we don't give them their money back. We just get them back out there working. Cause if we if we're doing all the stimulus bills and and uh pay relief checks, just going to screw the economy. Just get everybody back working, minimize the spread of it. Then we're good. No, buddy. No, buddy. If health officials say don't let people around each other, just not. Let's just listen to them for once, okay? We didn't fucking up. We ain't been listening to them lately, so let's listen to them currently. God damn, you motherfucker just just bail us out. Y'all can print money, okay? Y'all can print money and throw that shit. Just bail us out for a few months or anything. Get back <laughs> together and shit gets turned away. Um. Take care of your I citizens. Feel what, I feel what you're saying, Dr. Phil, but like I said before at the beginning of this podcast, um, this shit is spreading faster than other shit. So, and it's deadlier. So, I'm going to need you to relax. Big facts. Okay. We don't know what the fuck this can do. Motherfuckers ain't got no research, enough research on this. Shit been out and for three like months. They, they research diseases but I feel like it's getting for years, though. nigga. This is a disease that just came out this year and is doing all this shit. They be researching diseases year. for years. Last year. Last year. COVID-19. But I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> it came to us this year. But at the same time, I feel like that... It's the COVID-20. Because I feel like it has like mutated a little bit or something like that and gotten a little stronger. Because it just seems like... I don't know. Maybe because more people have gotten exposed to it. But it just seems like it's killing more people. I mean, I know it's killing more people because the numbers are going up. Mm-hmm. But it's still the numbers are rising while we're inside. Yep. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like... That's another reason why I'm opposed to just opening back up. Because it's like... Shit, that's that much exposure, and we in the crib social distancing for real, for real. But I know it's also probably because we are still not completely not in contact with one another. Yeah. There's grocery stores still yeah. open. There's gas stations still open. Yeah, I know one girl like in Italy that one of my friends posted or something. She was like, "We've been on lockdown for thirty days. We can't leave out the house without getting charged." And blah 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 blah. And you Americans are too um, ungrateful because you guys, you guys get to actually go to the store and stuff. It's like, bruh, see, it's like we spoil. It's like, bruh, just because and my coworker told me this at work because I was feeling bad because I felt like my job was getting on my fucking nerves during this yeah. shit. And he was like, "How are you like you feeling bad or somebody else feeling bad about their situation doesn't cancel your shit." Nigga, we can still, like, just because you cannot always feel like your... Your cause is the greater cause. Or you can't always feel like, oh, I I should feel bad. uh, Other people got less than me. I shouldn't feel like shit. Right. And then that's going to make you feel like even more shit because you think, oh, I'm feeling bad and I shouldn't be, you know what I'm saying, instead of just dealing with how you feel. So it's like... We gon' we gon' you're from where you're looking at, we're being assholes or whatever. But from where we're looking at, this is something we don't know. Like it's your government is being very informative with you. Ours isn't, so we don't know what the fuck going on. Definitely. So can you imagine not knowing what the fuck is going on? Don't know when you're coming out. Think you're coming out? Coming out in a month later? Don't know how you're gonna pay your rent? Don't know how you gonna fucking. Uh, pay for insurance because your car outside with no insurance, anything can happen. It been hell storms. It been hell storms, all type of shit. What's something happening in your car? Some fuck up. There's you ain't got no insurance organized. for your house. You don't got no motherfucking money because they not giving out no checks. This is stressful as well, bitch. I don't give a fuck if you gotta stay in the house for thirty days. If, if your shit is covered and you stay in the house for thirty days, they stop renting. That's different. Motherfuckers ain't stopping shit over here though, and t- keeping us in the house, but they ain't stopping nothing. Do we we have to stay in the house and the world is still going around us. Y'all For world sure. stopped. Just For because sure. you feel like that, don't ne- negate how I feel. And that's all I had to say. Definitely that's some perspective ass <laughs> shit right there. Oh my mama. And we're gonna wrap it up. And we about this thing. Thank y'all so much. We appreciate y'all for man. listening to the podcast. If it's your first time listening to it. it. If it's your first time listening to it, like it, subscribe it, you know. Repost it, you know, do all that shit, fuck with us. 
fuck with us. Thank y'all so much. Like I said, for we appreciate us. all our listeners. Be looking our for loyal that fucking number two mini cast. Mini cast on the way. Uh, African Americans and blacks and Africans and that. You know what I'm saying? I don't really and we know getting it together. Yet. I'm trying to figure it out, throw it out there, but but it's coming. Be looking for it's that shortly after this one. It's coming at you. All right, y'all. Thank y'all. Bye.